So the chapter eight review is going to be, we're going to practice the FIFO, LIFO, and uh, moving average, okay? We're going to practice all three of them together in this one little um, scenario here, okay? Starting with September 5th. Now, what I want you to do is, again, we're going to practice plugging our numbers into the inventory worksheet, and then we're going to, um, once again, we'll practice the journalizing tomorrow, all right? So here, uh, I want you to practice using the inventory worksheet to understand what is going to be on here. Now, again, we're looking at just chapter eight, okay? Tomorrow, we'll look at the purchase returns and allowances and sales returns and allowances, okay? So today, we're just practicing plugging in our numbers and solving for each and everything here. So on September 5th, we end up purchasing 100 units at $2.25 each on an account with a freight costing $25. Excuse me. So your inventory method is perpetual and we're looking at FIFO first. Okay. So here's our inventory worksheet. We're going to plug in our first number here. Okay. It is September 5th. We're going to skip over the cost of goods sold and move straight into purchases. So in this case, we purchase 100 units at $2.25 each with a freight of 25 Okay. So in this case, what is my total purchase price here? If I have bought a hundred toys or a hundred units at two dollars and twenty-five cents each, what's my total purchase price? Two twenty-five. Okay, two twenty-five plus twenty-five. Fifty. Gives me two fifty. Good, right? Now in this case, we only have one batch of inventory. I mean, this is my first batch of inventory. Excuse me. Okay, so therefore. Because I'm using FIFO, I need to separate my batches of inventory by figuring out what each one is going to cost me. Okay, so in this case, what is 250 divided by 100? What's my cost per item going to be? $2.50. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug my numbers into my inventory on hand. Okay. Okay, so $2.50. Now if you want to take a second real quick to go ahead and build your, your equal sum table so you know how many items you have on hand at all times. So right now I have a total of 100 units at a total cost of $250. Okay. So that means every time I add my batches of inventory, it is going to increase my inventory. So in this case, I'm gonna highlight it so you know that this is a calculated amount. So my inventory on hand right now, as of September 5th, is I have 100 toys available, or 100 units. All right, so then on September 10, we end up purchasing 200 units at $2.50 each with a freight of 50. Okay. So September 10, skip over the, per the expense here and go straight into the purchase here. So 200 units 
at $2.50 each with a freight of 50. So in this case, what's my total purchase price here? Five hundred. Five hundred, okay. Okay, five hundred plus fifty. Five hundred plus fifty. Five fifty, good. So in this case, because this is my second batch of inventory, right, I need to figure out what my cost per item is for this batch of inventory. So in this case, 550 divided by 200, what do I get? $2.75 each. So I'm gonna carry my batch of inventory of that 200 it's going to cost me $2.75 each with a freight of, I mean, that no, $2.75 each, which gives me a total cost of $550. If you want to, you can choose to color code these so you can, you know, keep track of your inventory, especially when you're calculating the cost. But in this case, this is pretty straightforward, right? And we carry our values into the inventory on hand. It is in order of exactly how you purchased it. So in this case, it's you, it, even if you use colors or not, you could still be able to keep track of it by thinking about, well, which batch came first? So in this case, we're going to be updating our inventory constantly. So now, after making that purchase, I have a, now a grand total of 300 units at $800. Okay. So let's see what's next. September 15, you end up selling, okay, 120 units at $10 each for cash, no sales tax, okay? So in this case, you would normally journalize this, but the whole purpose of my inventory worksheet isn't to solve for what I sold. It's to solve for what it cost me to sell my items. So in this case, cost of goods sold, right, is what I need to figure out. So it's September 12th, and I end up selling 120 toys. Now, let's take a look. If I'm using the rules of FIFO, okay, which batch of inventory am I going to take out from first? You're using FIFO. 200. FIFO. 100. You need to take the 100 because that's the first batch that you purchase, right? First in are usually going to be the first out. So in this case, we are going to be taking our very first 100 batch. So in this case, we're going to take all of it, okay? And we already know it's going to cost me $2.50 each, which is going to give me, you know, Two hundred and fifty uh, dollars. Okay. Right, and then what I'm gonna do here is uh, now that I sold my first hundred units, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of my inventory right now, so I know. I got rid of my first 100 units, but I sold 120. So in this case, I need to sell 20 more units, right? To get me my grand total cost of goods sold for selling a total of 120 units. So right here is a calculation. Now at this point, I need to sell 20 more units. At what cost? 
275. At 275 because that's my only batch of inventory left. It's going to cost me from this batch per item $2.75 each. So in this case, what is my total cost of goods sold here for selling 20 units at $2.75 each? Okay, you sold a total of $55. So in this case, right, we're going to add up our totals here. So $250 plus $55 is going to give you $305. Okay, now we need to take out 20 of those items out from my inventory. So in this case, $200 minus 20 is going to give you 180, right? 180 times $2.75 each is going to give you $495. Okay, so this one, because I'm using Excel, it automatically calculated that for me. Now I could also do simple math here, right? If I knew the total that gave me was 550 units and I sold $55 worth, right? Then I could just take 550 minus 55, and that should give you 495. Okay, so you can do it that way too. But in this case, it's just much easier if you just take the um you the quantity times the cost per item. Okay. So in this case, I am now left with 180 units at a total cost of $495. Okay. So let's see what happened on September. 18 okay so the september 18 you end up selling an additional 50 units at ten dollars each for cash okay so 50 more units okay so it's september 18 we sold 50 more units okay in this case I only have one batch of inventory and one batch only. So how much is it going to cost me per item? $2.75. It's going to cost you $2.75. Okay? Because I only got one batch of inventory. So in this case, how much is my how much is it going to cost me to sell 50 units at $2.75 each? One thirty-seven fifty. One thirty-seven fifty. Good. So now I need to update my inventory because I got rid of fifty more units. So in this case, what is one eighty minus fifty? One thirty. 130, okay, times $2.75 each should give you a total of 357.50 because you got 50 cents off still for 50 cents. Okay. Okay, so you have 130 more units left. So let's take a look here. Then on September 20th, we end up purchasing 300 units at $2.75 each with a freight of 75 okay. on September 20th. Right, we're going to skip over our cost of goods sold because this time we end up purchasing 300 units at $2.75 each with a freight of 75. So in this case, what's my purchase price here? Okay, 300 times $2.75 each. $8.50. 
eight twenty four. Okay, eight twenty five plus seventy five. Nine hundred. We'll give you nine hundred, right? And what is nine hundred divided by three hundred? Three. It's going to give you three dollars even. So once again, I'm going to pop this into my inventory on hand, right? 300 at $3 each will give me a total of $900. So in this case, grand total that I have available to sell is 430 units at a grand total cost of $12.57.50. All right, so then on September 25th, you end up selling another 250 units, okay, for $10.25 each for cash, okay? So it is September 25th, and we end up selling 250 units. So in this case, right, looking at the rules of FIFO, which batch of inventory are we going to sell from first? One thirty. We're going to sell our one thirty first, okay? In this case, we're going to get rid of all of it. So we already know a hundred and thirty of them at two dollars and seventy five cents each is going to cost me a grand total of the one of the um. 357.50, right? In this case, we already know that. You don't need to calculate, you just need to carry the numbers down here. So in this case, I can get rid of this entire batch of inventory. But I sold a total of 250 units. So in this case, how many more do I need to keep selling in order to get to 250? I need to sell a total of 120. Okay. Now, in this case, I only have one batch of inventory, so how much is it going to cost me per, per item? $3.60. Okay, so good, right? Three times 12 uh, times 120 is going to give you a total of 360 good so in this case i'm going to add my two values together to give me a grand total cost of how much selling 250 units is going to be right because especially when we journalize our cost of goods sold right instead of having two separate ones a cost of goods sold for the 130 and then a, uh, the other cost of goods sold for 120 they're both going to be the same account. So might as well just save yourself a journal and just journalize it one time, okay, by just adding up the total, okay? So now I need to update my inventory because I just sold a total of 120 units. So in this case, 300 minus 120, how much should I have left in my inventory? 180. You should have 180 units which cost you at three dollars each which should give you five hundred and forty dollars left okay september 27 is going to be the last sale of this we're going to sell a total of 130 units leaving you by the end of september 30th a total of 50 units left so in this case, that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, we're going to take, we're going to sell a total of 130 units, okay, on September 27, okay? September 27, we sold 130 units. Now in this case, we only have one batch of inventory left. What's its cost per item? $3, right? So in this case, 
If it's going to cost me $3 for every item I sell, what's my grand total cost of goods sold if I sold 130 units at $3 each? Three ninety. Three ninety. So now all I gotta do is update. All right, what's one eighty minus one thirty? It's gonna leave you with. It's going to leave you with 50, right? Which is exactly what my inventory worksheet to told me, right? The scenario told me by the end of September, right? September 30th, you should have 50 units left at $3 each, giving you a total of $150, okay? So this is FIFO, okay? All right, good so far? Okay, good so far? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now it says question number two, continue from above. Okay, your inventory, inven your inventory method is perpetual, but this time it is LIFO. Okay, last in, first out. So in this case, right, we're, since we're continuing on, right, this time we're just going to go ahead and look at the scenario so uh on september 30th you should have told had a total of 50 units on hand costing a grand total of 150 dollars which was true right that's what we solved for in our first inventory worksheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry this value over into my new inventory worksheet because now i have beginning inventory all right so here's my LIFO worksheet here. I have to start a new worksheet for this one. So in this case, I'm going to put in September 30th that I started out my inventory on hand with a total of 50 units costing at $3 each, which gave me my grand total of $150. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to take the time real quick to do my equal sum. So I have my running balance on, on how many goods available I have to sell at all times. So in this case, I currently have 50 units at a total of $150. Okay. So that was my beginning inventory. I carried it into my inventory worksheet. So now I currently have 50 units on hand. Okay. So then October 5th, we end up purchasing 100 units at $3.25 each with a freight of 25. Okay. So 100 units at $3.25 with a freight of 25. All right, we're going to skip over the cost of goods sold section because we just purchased 100 units at $3.25 each with a freight of 25 So what is going to be my total purchase price? If I bought 100 units at $3.25 each. Three hundred and twenty-five plus twenty-five. Fifty. Three fifty. So in this case, what's my cost per item going to be? If I have to take three hundred fifty divided by a hundred, what's my cost per item? How much is it going to cost me per item if I sell it? It's batch. Three fifty. Three dollars and fifty cents each. 
So in this case, I'm going to pop this into my inventory worksheet. So I just purchased 100 units at $3.50 each, which should give me a grand total of three fifty. dollars okay. So that means I have a total of 150 units at a grand total of $500. October 10 rolls around and we end up purchasing another additional 200 units at $3.50 with a freight of 50. So in this case, we're just racking up our inventory. So in this case, 250 at 350, or 200 at 350. Okay. So once again, we're gonna skip our cost of goods sold because we just purchased 200 units at 350 with a freight of 50. So in this case, how much is it gonna what how much is my purchase price? Seven hundred plus fifty gives me a total cost of Okay. So in this case, I need to figure out how much is it going to cost me per item. If I have 200 units at a total cost of 750, how much is it going to cost me per item? Three dollars and seventy-five cents each. So once again, carry that I have two hundred units at three seventy-five, right? So now I have a grand total of three hundred and fifty units at a total cost of twelve fifty. Okay. So let's see what happened next. October 12th rolls around and you end up selling 180 units for $10 each. Okay. 180 units. Okay. Okay. I sold a total of 180 units. Okay. Now, looking at your inventory on hand and using the method of LIFO, okay, which batch of inventory am I going to sell from first? The 200 at 375. So, in this case, I definitely have enough to cover 180 because my last batch has 200 in it. So, in this case, it's going to cost me. Three dollars and seventy-five cents each. So therefore, what is my total cost of goods sold here? Twenty. It's less. I'm not calculating that right now. I'm calculating how much it's going to cost to me. 180 times $3.75. Uh, 6 dollars Good. So in this case, I'm going to now update my inventory. Right? Because I just sold 180 units. So therefore, I no longer have 200. How many do I have? I have just 20. You have 20 left, right? At 375, which should cost you $75. Good. Okay. So now that I updated my inventory, I now have 170 units left. Okay. You have a question? Can you go back 170? 
Yes, because we have 50 from where we started. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus 100, plus 20. So then on October 18, we end up selling an additional 100 units. Okay. So in this case, right, we're on October 18, and I need to sell 100 units. Now let's take a look at my batches of inventory. Which one do I need to sell out first? Well, we need, we need to sell a total of 100, but which batch of inventory would we need to sell out from first? Uh, October 5th. Not October 5th. You can't, in this case, you can't pick and choose, right? We have to choose the one that we bought last. I thought, like, we need to sell 100 in total. We needed to sell a total of 100 units, yes. But which batch of inventory do I need to take out from first? If you sold milk, well, that's a bad, that's a bad idea. If you sold a laptop, right? Mm -hmm. My first 50 batch was maybe 2019, right? Your middle batch, the, first, the one that you have here is 2020. And then now your third batch here is 2021. Which one are you going to sell first? I thought, like, first come, first uh, sell. We're, we're on last in, flat, last in, first out. This is, this is the second costing method. And, and that 100 isn't first. Okay, so in this case, we're doing the last in is first out. So in this case, which batch of inventory did you purchase last? The last one, 180. Where is 180? Uh, we have the quantity, 120. We, we did the, 20, the 200. Now we left the 100. No. Where are you getting these numbers? Okay, look at, okay, so you have my, you, you're looking at my screen, right? We yeah. just sold 180 from our last batch. From the, one, the 20, correct? From the 200, 20. yes. That means I only have 20 left. Okay. So I need to sell a grand total of 100 units. Oh, we have now the quantity here, 170, correct? That's your total quantity. Yeah, I'm just confused. Which batch did I purchase last? You have just the 100 and the 20. You, you have the 50 that you began with, too. Oh, okay. Like, we go to the up. We have the 50, we have the 100, and the 20. Correct. Okay, now we need to take it from the, the like, so, September 3rd. Not to, no. We're not on FIFO. We're on LIFO, the last batch of inventory. You're going to sell out first. Okay, we have the quantity 50, 120. So which, which, which batch did you, did you last purchase? Uh, the 50, 120. That you purchased last. Which one did you purchase last? This There's is a 50, 120. Those are three batches. Which one out of the three did you just purchase last? Uh, the 20, October. Good. I only have 20 left in my last batch of inventory, so that's the first one I'm going to sell out first. I'm going to get rid of that 20 right there. Okay? You left with 80. Okay. No, you're not left with 80. You only have 20 left in that batch of inventory. How can you have 80 left? You will have 80 left more to sell. Yes, but right now, let me just focus on getting rid of one batch at a time. 
So right now, I'm getting rid of my batch of inventory for the 20 units. How much did it cost me per item? Uh, 75. 375. Okay. So in this case, yes, you're right. It's going to give me a total cost of $75. Right? So that means I'm going to get rid of this batch of inventory because I just sold 20 of them. Okay? So this becomes zero. So now I'm only left with 150, right? How many more do I need to keep selling? Uh, 150. How many more do I need to keep selling? Oh, we left with the 80. We're left so with we 80. Good. Okay. We're left with 80 to get a total of 100 units that we sold, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, right, which batch of inventory am I going to sell from next? Okay. Uh, we need to choose it from the 100, correct? We need to choose from the 100, correct. So in this okay. case, how much is it going to cost me per item? 80 by... 80 by 3.50. Uh, good, correct. So in this case? 180. Good. Okay. Good. Now you can add these up together to give you your total cost of goods sold. Okay. But now that I sold 80 units and it cost me $280, now I need to update my inventory because I got rid of 80. So 100 minus 80. How much should I have left from this batch of inventory? 20. Mm -hmm. 20 at 350 should give you $70. Okay? So that means now, moving on forward, I only have a I only have 70 units that I can sell. Okay. Okay, this is my goods available. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Okay, so let's see. We are on October 20th, right? October 20th, we end up purchasing 300 units at 375 with a freight costing 75. Okay? So we're buying another batch of inventory on October 20th. Okay? So I'm going to skip over this because we purchased 300 units at 375 with a freight of 75. So in this case, what's my total purchase price here? 1,128. Good. Plus 75? Plus 120. 200. Yes. 1,200. Yep. Good. Okay. Now 1,200 divided by three, three, 300 is going to give you how much per item? $4. $4. Good. So in this case, we're going to pop this into my inventory because that means because I just purchased inventory. I purchased 300 units at $4 each, which is going to give me a total cost of 1,200. So in this case, now, I have 370 units that I can sell. Okay. Good. So, on the 25th, we end up selling 200 units at $10.25 each. So, September 25th, we end up selling 200 units. So, October 27th. By 25th, we sold 200 units. Okay? So in this case, right, using the rules of LIFO, last in, first out, out of the three batches of in inventory that you currently have, which batch are you going to dip, are you going to sell first? So the last one. The last one? Yeah. At? 100. That's what you have left, but the question is, 
at what cost? How much is it going to cost you per item? The last batch. Oh, 200 uh, by what? Um, so that you see the price. How much is it going to cost you? I, I didn't see it. Uh, how much uh, by item? Right, right here. How much is it gonna cost? I'm on the I'm now on the right side of the page now. How much is it, is the last batch of inventory gonna cost you? Uh, eight hundred. Not eight hundred. Uh, I'm not calculating the total right now. I'm asking you how much is it gonna cost you per item? How did you get to eight hundred? Uh, eight hundred. Yeah, we uh, we divided by uh, four. Correct. It not divide. We multiply by four. So in this case, yeah. the last batch of inventory is four dollars each, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, two hundred times four is how much? Uh, two, uh, eight. Eight hundred. Good. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Now I need to update my inventory because I don't have it anymore. So in this case, I only have right. What's two hundred? My uh, what it's 300 minus 200, we should have a hundred left, right? A hundred at four dollars each gives you 400. Okay, good. Okay. Last but not least, October 28th, okay. I end up selling 150 toys, 150 unit, 50 units, leaving me 20 units left on hand by October 31st. So in this case, I need to sell another 150 units on October 27th. Okay. So in this case, let's take a look at my batches of inventory. Okay. Which one am I going to sell from first? The 100. You're going to get rid of the 100. Good. So in this case, 100, which we know at $4 each, right? Since we get rid of all of it, we automatically know that's going to cost me $400. So in this case, I can get rid of this completely 100%. Okay? So now I'm only left with 70 units left. I need to sell 150. So I already got rid of my first 100. How many, which batch of inventory I'm going to sell for me next? Did I say 150 or 120? Yeah, I need to sell 150. Okay. So we will choose uh, October 25, the first 100. You already got rid of it. Okay, let's look at the right side. I have 70 units left. Mm -hmm. I need to sell 50 more units. So which batch of inventory are you going to sell from next? So think about box one, box two, box three, box four, right? I got rid of box four. I got rid of box three. Which box am I going to get rid of next? Uh, it's going to be October 20. October 20 is already gone. We don't have anything there. October, October 5th, the 20 quantity. The 20 quantity, good. So in this case, I got rid of another 20 units. How much did it cost me? The 20 by 350. Good. So in this case, we already know what that's going to tell me, right? We have it already here calculated. It's going to be $70. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that I got rid of this 20 units here, how many more do I need to sell? 50. How many more do I need to sell? Uh, we was having one uh, fifty. We got uh, all the twenty. We need uh, one thirty. We need thirty more. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so in this case, I only have one batch of inventory left. Mm -hmm. How much is it going to cost me per item? Uh, you said 30 by uh, 3. Uh -huh. uh, 180. 180. 180. Oh, actually, in this case, it's, it's 90, right? 30 times 3. Uh, 30 times 3. Yeah. Well, it's from, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you uh, okay. So in this case, right? Good. So I'm going to equal up my sums here. So this is a total of selling 150 units, mm -hmm. giving me a total of $560. Okay, that's for selling all 150 units. Okay. Now I need to update my inventory because I got rid of 30 units. So in this case, right, 50 minus 30 should leave you with 20. So now you have left is $60 left in your inventory. And you have, 50, you have 20 units left which is true, right? As of October 31st, you should have a total of 220 units left. Okay? Good. All right. Last one, question number three, continue from above. Your inventory method is perpetual and moving average. Okay, so now I'm switching gears. I need to calculate it using moving average, okay? Starting with October 31st, you should have had a total of 20 units on hand, costing a total of $60, which is true, right? That's exactly what we saw from our inventory worksheet, right? We got 20 units at $3 each, which gives you a total of 60. So I'm gonna take that value and put it into my inventory worksheet and Say that on October 31st, right, we're going to skip all of this and go straight to the inventory on hand. We have a total of 20 units at $3 each, which gave me a total cost here. Now, in this case, I cannot put my number here, okay? I have to do my calculation in the middle of my inventory worksheet. So, in this case, I need to solve for my average cost per item, which in this case, we already know is $3, okay? Okay, so in this case, right, now I need to go ahead and continue. So on October 31st, I have two, I have 20 units at a total of $60, which cost me $3 per item okay so first thing i did in november was november 2nd i ended up purchasing 100 units at three dollars each on an account freight cost 25 so three dollars 25 freight 100 units so in this case moving average it's november 2nd right and i'm skip over the cost goods sold he purchased 100 units at $3 each with a freight of 25 Okay. So in this case, what's my total purchase price? What's my total? 300 Good. Plus 25 gives me a total cost of? Uh, 325 325 good now in this case i'm doing moving average now i do not need to calculate my cost per item because in this case i don't care what batch came first or which batch came last i care about my grand total total cost and my grand total quantity to get my average cost so in this case i have 20 units on hand okay and i just Purchased 300. So what's my total quantity here? Or purchased 100. What's my total quantity here? 
We purchased the 300 with the 20. No, 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 sorry. I, I said that wrong. We purchased 100. Oh, uh, 120? Yeah, we have 120 now, right? But my total cost is, well, if I started with $60 and I need to add, because I purchased 100 units, I need to add $325. What's my new total cost going to be? So 120 and we add the 300? I have 60 uh -huh. from my 20. And I just purchased $325 worth. I need to add up my total total cost. I have 600. You, you mean we have 60? 60. Okay. That's my beginning inventory. That's how much money it's worth in my inventory. And I just purchased $325 more. 325 Mm-hmm. So 385 Good. Okay, so that's my total, total um, cost and my total, total quantity. Now, in this case, I need to find out what my average cost is. So in this case, how do I solve for my average cost? That is going to be uh, 60. Nope. Uh -huh. 20 times the 300. No. I'm looking at my average cost per item. Oh, uh, going to be 20 by 3. No, I'm, I'm looking for my average cost per item. How much is it going to cost me if I need to sell one item? One item from where? From the uh, 120 uh, plus 20, correct? No, 120 is what you have right now in grand total. Ignore this 20 because I already added my hundred to it so now we just uh, do 120 and we divide it by like 385 correct other way around but yes okay uh, like 120 no, 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 don't use 120 uh, first you got to do 385 first uh-huh Gonna be a three two zero eight. Do, do you want to give you all? Oh, okay, twenty one. Yeah. Well, in this case, yeah, yeah you yeah. are gonna give me at least six digits if possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that's what I have right now. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna block this off because we don't care about that anymore. We don't have 20 units anymore. We have now 120 units. So right here is your goods available. Every time we sell something, every time we purchase something, you're always going to constantly know what your total goods available is because you're constantly calculating it. Okay? So I have a total of 120 units available at a total cost of $385. Okay? So then, let's see what happened next. November 3rd, you end up purchasing 200 units at 275 with a freight of 50. Okay, so we purchased 200 units at 275 with a freight of 50. So what's my total purchase price here? Five fifty. Five fifty. Okay. Plus fifty. Five 
uh, Do it again. Five fifty plus fifty. Oh, uh, seven. Um, okay, it's gonna be like this. Five fifty plus fifty. Six. Uh, six. Uh, five. Do it again. Five fifty plus fifty. Fifty. Oh, oh, six. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So I have a new total cost. All right. Now I have a new. I I added new inventory, and a new total cost. So in this case, I needed to add it to my one twenty, right? Because that's what I have available. I just purchased two hundred more. So what's my new total quantity? If I have a total 20. of 120 and I just added 200 to my inventory. 320. Okay. Okay. If I have a grand total of 385 that I began with, right? I just purchased $600 more. What's my grand total now? I have 380. Five. What about your new batch of inventory you just purchased? Uh, 600. Okay. What's my total there? 6 with a 385, correct? Yes. Okay. Let me just... Nine eighty five. Okay. So now I need to solve for my average cost per item. What is it? Okay. Uh how many item we have? Three hundred and twenty. Okay, no. We said uh, uh, nine hundred and eighty five. It's going to be 307. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then let's see what happened next. Okay. Hmm. November 15, we end up selling 115 units at $10 each. Okay, 115 units mm -hmm. on November, is it November 10? I don't remember the date. November 15, we end up selling 115 units. Okay. We sold 115 units. How much did it cost me per item? Oh, the total cost uh, one one thousand one hundred and fifty. What? It cost us uh, one fifteen by. It was a three, right? What is the cost per item? Uh, three dollars. Three dollars in what? Uh, zero seven eight one ten. Correct. Yes. Thank you. 
the V53 9 inch or nine eight four tells you to not round up so mm -hmm. okay so what do you do with this now we need to seal uh 115. we already did What do I do with this number here? We need to do minus from 320. Is that a guess? No, because we need to get off the 320 and we make it zero. We don't make it zero. So 320 minus uh, 150, correct? Yes. Uh, 25, uh, two, uh, 205. Now we need to do like the 20, 205 by the 307, correct? No. We're doing moving average. What does moving average tell you? It's like we go uh, by, uh, like, we got rid of the, like, inventory. What does moving average tell you? We sell, right? Yes, we did sell. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. Could you tell me? We're calculating the average cost every single time. Mm. So why would you need to multiply by 3.7078? That's not the number you need to be multiplying. That's not the calculation you're looking for. So... How am I supposed to solve for my average cost per item? We divide the 200. By what? By the three dollar. No. Mm. No, that's what okay. you need to solve for is the average cost per item, not. So, oh, now the, this one by the two is 0 0.75, correct? The last one. The last one. Mm -hmm. Where do you get 2 0 0.75? 200. Two hundred to two point zero seven five. Where did you get two point zero seven five? Unit of cost. We're not purchasing.
so this is the first choice okay where where do we got the number to divide it that's what i'm asking you to solve how do i get that number where to in order to divide it if i if you knew this much where because we sold 115 units and you knew to take your quantity of 320 to subtract the 115 to get your new quantity of 205 then how do you get oh. your total cost uh it's gonna be from the 985 985 and what uh we got like uh, we minus it from the 205. No. First of all, we need to know how much the 205. You already, cost. you already did. You already solved it. Mm -hmm. You already told me that 200, 200 and two, not 205. You already told me that 115 right, times the 3.078125 gave you a total of $353.98. So now we need to get the, oh, the 300, oh, we did it. Okay. I'm just lost. <laughs> no. No, you clearly did not watch the lesson on Thursday. Yeah, I did. But if you I did, then you would know how to do this part. So no, you didn't. The 985. Because this is how do I did understand. Like we got all of them. Until we got zero. Once again, we are on moving average. You will never have zero. So once again, you definitely did not watch the video on Thursday. I did, but this is what how do I did understand. No. If you did you would know that zero would never be a possibility in this scenario, ever. I thought we keep selling and doing the... the correct, correct, correct. You did sell 115. Now my question to you is how do I get rid of that off my inventory? And you don't know how to do that. And yes, on Thursday, I gave you two examples on how to do it consistently about eight times. So there's no way that you could have not know how to do this. And I walked you through it step by step. So again, you did not go over the PowerPoint and you did not go over the exercise. Because you would have already gotten, you would have known what to do. So now... Um... So in this case, if you sold 115 units at a grand total of $353.98, if you got rid of $353.98, where are you subtracting that out from? From the 985. There you go. So what is it? Two you still need to solve for your new total cost. Oh, okay, okay. The 320 minus... Not 320. You already done your quantity already. We're working on, we're working on your total cost. Total cost, 300, uh, 353. Minus nine eighty five or the opposite. 
it, it doesn't matter. You're still going to get the same number. Okay. Yeah. The 985 minus the 353. Okay, but? You tell me. Oh, yeah. Okay. You want me the... Okay. Let me see. 900. Uh, 85 minus... Three hundred and uh, three. It's going to be six hundred and fifty one point zero eight. Zero two. Oh, excuse me, zero eight. Because it's 98 cents. If you subtract zero and you subtract 98 cents, you're going to be left with two cents. Mm -hmm. So now what do you do? Uh, now we're going to get the 651 uh, divide uh, 205. going to be got 307. Eight zero four eight seven. Okay. Okay, so the next one is November eleven. November eleven, you sold a hundred and forty five units. November November 18, excuse me. November 18, you sold 145 units. How much is it going to cost me per item? Uh, 307. <clears throat> So then what's my cost of goods sold? Uh, total cost. One, four, five, seven, eight, zero, seven. Uh, 446. <coughs> So now we need to do this one. How much do we cost? We do like 200 or 2 minus 145. Okay, but? You tell me. Okay. 205 minus 145. 60. Okay. This is what we need to end with, which is a two. <coughs> so now, So what's next? Saying we left with 60 units in hand. Okay. So what we need to do? Because it's saying that and we need to left with 60 and we have the 60. Okay, that's just the quantity. What about my total cost? Uh, the total cost. Okay. The same thing we did. Uh, we minus 631. 631.2. 
uh, minus uh, 400 grams or 6.3 kg. Okay, we're gonna be having 184. Yes, Christina. So I go one eighty one eighty five of point uh, six one uh, divide sixty uh, three zero seven eight one six 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 seven seven okay so then we end up purchasing 300 units at 250 with a freight of 75 on uh november 20th we purchased 300 units at 250 with a freight of 75. So Okay, three hundred and uh, by two fifty uh, seven fifty. Okay, and now total cost uh, seven fifty uh, seventy five okay. eight twenty five. Now, what we need to do? Three hundred and twenty-one. No cost per item is two seventy-five. We, in this case, we're doing moving average. So that would just be extra calculation for you. Okay. So. Because in this case, we, yeah, 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 yeah. But in this case, I'm just telling you that um, because in this case, we're doing moving average. We don't really care about what oh, yeah, the batch is. Yeah. Yeah. So it, 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 it's, uh, you can do it. It's just extra work for you. You don't necessarily need to do it. Okay. So you, so you were saying you need to do what the inventory? We have to the purchase of 300 mm -hmm. so it would be a total of 360 good One thousand and nine, sixty-nine. Good. Now, what's my average cost per item? Two point eight zero four six nine. Good. Okay. Let's see what's next. So then you end up selling on November 25th, you end up selling 175 units for $10.25 each. So 175 units on November 25th.
no wait, uh, did I say 125? Oh, that's the bottom one. 175 units. So what's my cost per item here? Good. So what's my total cost of goods sold then? Okay. Do you say ninety two? Good, good. Four eighty good. Four ninety eighty two. So how do I know how many goods I have left available? Three sixty minus one seventy five, which is one eighty five. Good. Okay. And your new total cost. Five eighteen eighty seven. Okay. Okay, which give you the same average cost, except it went up by ten thousandth of a penny. Okay. All right. Last but not least, on November 28, you end up selling 125 units, which left you with 60 units left on hand at the end of November 30th, okay? So we're going to sell our last 125 units, okay? At what cost? Two point eight zero four seven. Okay, so what's my total cost of goods sold here? 35059. So let's adjust our inventory. So sixty. Have sixty left, which is true, right? The the scenario says you should have sixty units left on hand at the end of November. Right? Now at how much is my total cost of those 60 units? Uh, 168. 20. Okay. Okay. You divide those two numbers together, and then you'll get 2.80667. So in this case, it decreased again by um, 4 thousandth of a penny. Okay. So this is your moving average. So... Let's take a look and review. So the very first one, we did FIFO, where we end up selling our first batches first and get rid of them slowly by, you know, going from a first batch of inventory and selling them out first, okay? LIFO, 
right? LIFO, we had a complication, right? Because we kept purchasing, 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 and we kept basically calculating our last ones first, okay? We kept getting our last batches of inventory um, getting rid of first, okay? And then moving average, we don't care about which batch came first or which batch came last. All we care about is our grand total purchases, right? And our grand total that we sold and basically subtracting them along the way. And then as we went through each purchase, right, we got new inventory. We had to readjust our inventory and calculate our average cost. Every time we sold something, we had to also recalculate my average cost per item. Because in this case, we don't care what each and individual one um, in each batch represents. We care about what each one represents as a grand total. Okay? Any questions in regards to the Chapter 8 review? No.